began the apprenticeship scheme in September 2012 uh, to really meet a need. We were noticing that we were lacking skills in certain areas and we wanted to make sure that we were filling those needs for now and also for the future. So we ensure that all of our apprenticeships, uh, there's a long-term career path with a position for strategic need for the future at the end of it. Our typical apprenticeship lasts five years. Um, throughout that time they will study to get up to a Bachelor's of Science degree. In a best case scenario, you'd come out of the top, uh, the top university in three years or four years and then have one year's work experience. So after five years, you have a degree and one year's work experience. However, here you come out after five years with five years work experience and a degree. And on top of that, you have no student debt. All the apprentices are offered um, an extensive support network. Each has a line manager who supports them with their day-to-day -day work plan and development but they also have a mentor and a buddy. Coding Leave is brilliant to work for. They're really, really supportive. Like everybody, because we're apprentices, because they want us to achieve, everyone's really supportive and really kind and really happy to help and really excited about what you're achieving and how you're achieving it. Apprentices bring um, a huge amount of loyalty, creativity and enthusiasm to the workforce. They are passionate about everything they do and hugely loyal. Definitely, because Unilever is investing so much in us, it definitely makes you feel like you want to work really hard for them and you want to put all your effort into achieving for them and making, making their investment worthwhile. Historically, apprenticeships have been given bad press for being underpaid, manual labour, you know, unskilled work. But what I've learned in this apprenticeship is that actually, you know, I'm, I'm doing the same work as, as a lot of other people, working with global leaders and experts in their field and doing some actual work which contributes towards Unilever itself. At first, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't really want to do an apprenticeship. However, when I saw this and I realised it was in science, it was for people who passed their A-levels and they were working towards a, a degree. A bachelor's in chemistry is something that's like, hey, I can, I can learn in a, a degree I really want, a degree I can use outside of just this chemistry R&D. Apprentices, will, when they complete their apprenticeship, will be on a level peg as anybody else within Unilever and have all the same career opportunities. But they, in addition to somebody who came in straight from university, they will have that deep technical understanding of our products and really know and understand how the company operates, which is of huge value to us as a business. Our apprentices work on real life projects from the first day in the business. Everything they do from the second they start their apprenticeship is on real projects so they can really quickly see the difference that they're making and add value to the organisation. It's a really interesting and engaging job. I'm not just making tea and copying papers. You know, I'm actually working in the lab doing some real science. Employee engagement from the rest of your workforce is huge. People love having apprentices on site and they love feeling that the company is um, dedicated to building future talent. But I do feel that in the long run I've, I've made the best choice as um, I'm, I'm earning while I'm learning and I'm getting some valuable work experience in even the relevant field to my degree. And at the same time my degree is complementing my work. There is a cost implication to having apprentices. They aren't cheap. They do cost, the scheme itself costs us a lot of money, but we're investing in the future. We'll have our own homegrown talent who understand our business and understand our products and who want a career with Unilever. I would tell people to seriously consider apprenticeships. Um, apprenticeships have changed a lot in recent years. It's no longer about low-skilled manual labour for below minimum wage. Apprenticeship schemes are popping up all over the country all the time. And in the future, apprenticeship schemes will be the most valued and appreciated way into careers. Mm -hmm.